All right, so I want to talk about uh, the last song that I just put up called New Frontiers. Yeah, I wrote that song, New Frontiers, in uh, 2017. I wrote that for my first band, uh, just like Awakening Giants. So I wrote that for my first band in 2017. We're called Ballistic. And New Frontiers was the third and last song that I wrote for the band uh, before we broke up. And so we were together for like six months or whatever. Yeah, so it was originally written for vocals. And then when we broke up, I basically just took it and I made it into an instrumental. And I decided to name it New Frontiers because there was a lot of new things happening in my life that year that were like pretty exciting, new experiences that I was having. So like one of the experiences was that I joined my first band, which I had been, uh, I guess, putting off. And like part of me knew that I wanted to join a band, but to be completely honest, there were different reasons why it took me so long, you know, because I was 27 when I finally joined my first band. So one of the reasons was because I was afraid of uh, playing live, like I mentioned in another video. So I had stage fright. And so I knew that if I joined a band, I would have to play live, which just that really terrified me at the time. So I just kind of put it off. And then the other reason why it took me a while to join a band was just because of social anxiety. So I definitely used to have a lot of social anxiety. I still do to an extent, but it used to be a lot worse. Yeah, so basically I knew that I would have to um, talk to people if I joined a band. I was just anxious about that uh, in general. But there was a point, maybe 2016 or something, that I just was like, I realized that I wanted to. And so I, uh, I posted a little, or I, I made a profile on a, uh, a website called Bandmix, which is basically like a dating website for bands. And so like musicians will find each other and you can like join a band or whatever. Yeah, so I basically was just like, I just made a profile on there. And I was like, if someone finds me, then there you go. Then uh, maybe I'll join a band. But again, I was like, I was hesitant because of the social anxiety and all that stuff. And so I wasn't going to be the one to reach out. So I was like, I'll just make a profile. And if anyone finds me, then, you know, maybe I'll consider actually joining a band. And then someone did, and that was uh, the drummer of my first band. Yeah, so basically I got that email from him and I, I was definitely res like hesitant at first, but then I was like, you should do this. You know, you should definitely just say yes, just try it out. Cause who knows, uh, you know? And then like, I feel like like a lot of different experiences like that, it's just, it wasn't, <laughs> Like the actual experience itself isn't nearly as scary as your thoughts about it. Yeah, definitely. Like when I, you know, started talking to him and and then like getting to know my bandmates and stuff, it was fine. You know, it really wasn't a big deal. It was really just like taking, I guess, that first like plunge into the water. I was about to say first step, but it was more. It felt more like a plunge, to be honest. And yeah, it wasn't nearly as uh, scary as I thought, and I actually enjoyed it. You know, I, I definitely liked my bandmates. Um, generally speaking, they were cool. So that was the first, the first thing that was a really new experience for me. And then the second thing, or a new frontier, you could say. So then the second thing was getting accepted into Berkeley, which is, uh, that's, it happened in November of 2017. And that's something I'd wanted to do for a long time. But it took me to, it took me a while to, I think, trust my gut and re, like really just decide like I'm just going to do what I want to do because there's a lot of different connotations with like the school that you go to and what you major in and then people have different things to say about, oh, this major is more lucrative than this, you know, especially for the arts and uh, music and stuff like that. It's like, obviously there's a lot of people who have different ideas of like what to do and is that you know the safest route to take when you're trying to figure out what you want to do with your life or whatever and I was really treating it like this gigantic like momentous decision and I wanted to make sure I did the right thing 
So I ended up majoring in a few other things before I finally decided to change my major to guitar and to transfer to Berkeley. So I finally realized that like, I basically finally started to trust uh, my gut in 2017. Uh, and I was like, you know what? I'm a guitarist and like, I'm gonna major in guitar at Berkeley because Berkeley had a guitar degree, which all the other schools that I was looking into, um, they had like guitar degrees, but they were all based on like classical or jazz. Berkeley was the only school I could find that had just guitar degree. And it wasn't like, you know, specifically jazz or classical. And also, it was the only school that I could find that actually had a metal course, which I was like, yo, that if I wasn't sold on the guitar course, I was sold on the metal course. I was like, yo, if there's a school who has a metal course, that's the school for me. So, yeah, so then I auditioned, and I have a whole video on my process of practicing for the audition, which I guess I'll put up here if you want to check it out. But I, I was practicing my audition song for literally like nine months straight like almost every day which was limits to infinity by scar symmetry and then yeah i got accepted in uh, november so i was like super excited about that and uh relieved because i just didn't know if i was going to make it in because you know it's berkeley so it has this big i don't know this connotation to it of like being this super prestigious school that all these amazing musicians uh, came out of so I was like I had no idea like what this what I was competing against and I had heard that it's a very competitive school so I was just super super relieved that I got accepted so yeah I wrote New Frontiers like around that t that same time frame um, when I graduated from Berkeley it was like I guess it was probably right after or not graduated when I got accepted so it was probably like right after I got accepted I wrote that song and then I named it New Frontiers. That song New Frontiers is going to be on an EP that I'm putting out called Against All Odds and that's going to be coming out in the next few months so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm really really excited about it. If you haven't seen the album art you should check it out on my Instagram because it's so freaking cool. Because this is fantastical like fantasy epic, epic fantasy kind of scene and I'm just super excited about it. Obviously excited about the music. All the songs were written mostly in 2017, except for one, which was written in 2016. And yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. And you can listen to New Frontiers on my Spotify, where, you know, or anywhere else it's streaming right now, or you can buy it or whatever. And uh, I'll have the link in the description for that, if you want to check that out. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.